what's up guys? Uh, welcome to the channel, TNT MTB. I'm Trent. I'm Allie. And uh, that's a really cheesy intro. I think I should say Trent and, and Allie, oh. but I feel very chauvinistic saying oh. Allie, so we let her say Allie. It's the little things, yeah. thank you. We're trying, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. Today's tour is just on the outside of the van and the underbelly of the van. So we're gonna show you guys the gray tank, the propane tank, the airbag leveling system, um, how I kind of ran some of the propane lines, things like that. This is the crawl space of your house. <laughs> yeah. So if you have a house that has a crawl space and you go into it and there's spiders and it's nasty and nothing looks nice, that's what we're gonna show you because a lot of people ask what's going on down there. We're gonna leave some links in the description below that will have, uh, we're gonna leave some links in the description below that will have links. We will link in the description to all of the different pieces of equipment that are mounted and assembled under the van in case you are interested in checking them out or picking any of them up. It's really hard to get the camera under there and get good angles of that stuff. So if it's terrible, I'm sorry. You can totally hate on us in the comments and tell us how bad it is. But we're in a really beautiful area right now. We've just pulled up and have been hanging out and relaxing. It's a gorgeous afternoon um, in a really wonderful part of the world. We want to just take you outside first of all and just show you um, the glory that is van life. This is what you get to experience um, if you're traveling around in a van and it's pretty magical. Good boy, sit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. So, this is the outside of the van. Um, we didn't really show you guys this side or really any of the fill spots or the exit for the water heater or the exhaust or intake for the furnace. So we're gonna uh, kind of give you a little bit of a tour of the outside here. So this is the outside of the motion windows window. Um, it's unlocked, so you know, open it from the outside here. One of the really nice things is the screen opens too, so you get like full pass through if you want it, or you wanna dispose of a cup of dirty water, or something, I don't know, something you can dump out. Uh, um, a lot of people have asked where we fill the water at, and this is actually the fill door right here. You should probably get the keys and open that, but... Oh, keys. Really clean. A lot of dirt flies up and gets inside there. Moving down over here, um, there's the intake and exhaust for the furnace. Um, this is basically like an RV furnace, so it mounts just like you'd see on the outside of an RV. And then this section here is the instant water heater, also very clean. The last fill spot is going to be over here. So this is actually where we fill the propane. The propane tank is mounted underneath and it's huge. And the guys filling the propane didn't want to like lay on their backs underneath the van to hook it up to fill it up. And so I had to install a remote fill kit. As you can see right here, this is where they fill up the propane. This is the bleeder valve so they can actually fill it without getting underneath the vehicle. Um, the propane people will love us for that. Or don't love us, but they'll actually fill up the propane the way it was before they wouldn't do it. So <laughs> I had to install this. And the rest of this tour is gonna be under the van, which is gross and we're in Walmart parking lot. So I'm gonna lay on the ground and get under there with the camera just so that you guys can get a sneak peek of what's going on under there and all the modifications I made in the middle of the winter, laying on my back in the snow and the ice. It was super fun, but glad it's over. All right. Ugh. So under here is where the gray tank is mounted. Um, it actually dumps right out here. So um, I put an RV dump valve on the end of the holding tank. 
This is where the sink and the shower both drain into. I used six pieces of strap here, screwed into the frame. I got it from plasticmart.com. If you want to go there, they have like a billion different shapes and sizes. So underneath this heat shield is where the shower drains out and feeds into the gray tank. The exhaust is right here, so I wanted to put the heat shield over it so that we didn't have any problems with it melting or warping the drain or anything like that. This right here is the propane tank. Um, it also has a insulation wrapped around it to stop things from bouncing up or if I hit it on anything, I would definitely know because it would tear the insulation. This is going to be the insulated hose that comes off of the propane tank that runs up to a junction right here. Um, this side goes out to the stove. This side goes out to the furnace. That side goes out to the water heater. This right here is the air compressor and the control module for the leveling system. I have uh, some airbag helper springs that are a leveling system that make it so that we can carry like an extra 5,000 pounds on the rear axle. This red cable here that runs into the van by the uh, propane is what goes into the battery bank. That is our auxiliary charging system. Uh, runs off the alternator, so when you start the van, it starts sending electricity and that'll charge your auxiliary battery bank. Um, there's gonna be a link to that in the description as well. That's pretty crucial if you're somewhere where you're not getting any solar power. For example, like somewhere where there's a lot of snow, or if you're somewhere where there's a lot of high mountains around you and you only get a short burst of daylight each day, you're gonna want something that's gonna actually send electricity to the battery bank other than your solar system. And one of these smart isolator switches is the easiest way to do that. That is most of the interesting stuff under the van. Mm. What'd you think? Pretty impressive, right? Yeah. A little dirty, but it is what it is. It's gross under there. Sometimes water comes out of the gray tank, out of the breather hose, and then sprinkles its way along the underside of the van. So it's actually kind of gross under there. We'll be making our own perfume. She doesn't even know that. Eau de gray tank out of that smell. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate it if you could like, share, subscribe, comment. We love reading all of your comments. If you guys have any questions, shoot them in the comments. Um, we're going to be posting a few more videos this week. We've got some fun stuff in store for you. I promise we won't take you into the underside of the van anymore unless you specifically request it. Last time. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> and from Frank, myself, and this guy over here, we appreciate you. So long. Bye. I'm gonna get my butt on my back. My butt. Um, um I say um a lot. I feel like um, this is an audition for a news anchor. It's and I'm not very intimidating talking to a camera when you're not used to it.